Hello, amazing teachers. Welcome to a momentous chapter in your educational journey. I am Michelle Singh, and let me just say, I'm overjoyed to be walking this path towards certification with you. Today on your professional pathway to certification via the digital option, I invite you to listen closely. I'm here to ensure that you are not just prepared, but exceptionally ready for the mandatory digital portfolio session that is approaching. And trust me, Preparation is the bedrock of success in our field, and I cannot wait to guide you through it. So if you're watching this, you have either considered or committed to the digital route for your state portfolio toward teacher certification. Wise choice. I recall the complexities of balancing lesson planning with the hurdles of certification. So believe me when I say that you are stepping in the right direction. And to set yourself up for success, let's approach this journey methodically. Your next best steps are to collect your required documents and artifacts and write your narratives. So stay with me as we delve deeper into each of these components. Number one, let's start collecting the required documents. Each of the required documents serve as a building block for your teaching career so far, right? So they have to be included in your portfolio. The required documents, as a reminder, include your teacher professional picture, your employee information, portfolio submission sheet, documentation of accomplished practices, FTCE test scores, professional development history, annual evaluation, your FEEP entry cover sheet, and you're going to need a total of six FEEP entry cover sheets, one for each FEEP. So for the digital option, I would encourage you to use an app like Office Lens, Microsoft Office Lens, so that you can transform those physical documents into PDFs. That's going to make it much easier for you to upload those into the, into the digital portfolio when we get to that stage of this journey. And don't forget that you're going to need to secure those signatures on anything that requires signatures. You also want to keep everything organized and accessible, either via a flash drive or on your cloud storage for the digital portfolio orientation session that is upcoming. Number two, we're gonna talk now about your artifacts. So the artifacts that you collect are not just check boxes. These are snapshots of your teaching journey. So you're gonna need a specific number for each fee. Think student work, lesson plans, photos, and videos where you're demonstrating your teaching strategies and more. So you wanna be versatile. You want to include artifacts that are PDFs and Word docs and PowerPoint slides or audio files. And you can even put URLs like a link to an online quiz. You wanna show your depth and your diversity in your teaching practice. And as a reminder, you must have the following number of artifacts for each feat. So feat number one, you're gonna need 12 artifacts. Feat number two, you're gonna need 18 artifacts. Feat number three, you're gonna need 20 artifacts. Feat number four, you're gonna need 12 artifacts. Feat number five, you're gonna need six artifacts. and Beep number six, you're going to need three artifacts. Now let's move on to your narratives. Number three, your narratives are where your voice takes the stage to amplify your teaching practices. So don't forget the requirements that you have already been given, such as your artifacts being one full page, type 12 point font, double spaced, and all of those other requirements. You want to consider for the digital option that these narratives are typed in Word. Type them in Word, and you want to save each narrative as a separate file. So you're going to have a whole bunch of narrative files because each narrative should be saved as a separate file. So as a reminder, you must complete the following number of narratives for each FEEP. You're going to need six narratives for FEEP number one. You're going to need nine narratives for FEEP number two, 10 narratives for FEEP number three, six narratives for FEEP number four, six narratives for FEEP number five, and three narratives for FEEP number six. So as I close, I would like to emphasize the importance of following these guidelines as frameworks for success on your digital portfolio. So let's review what I've just talked about. Number one, you wanna collect your required documents and save them as PDFs. Number two, you wanna collect your artifacts and save them as the various formats that I previously mentioned. You want to, number three, write your narratives and save them in Word. And remember, each narrative is saved as a separate file. Rest assured, you're going to be well prepared if you start collecting and writing now. You've got this. And remember, the details and the registration link for the digital portfolio session that is mandatory will follow soon. So be on the lookout for that email if you choose the digital option. I cannot wait to see you all at the Digital Portfolio Orientation Session. Take care. Bye.